I went in as an illustrator, wanting to sell my work as an illustrator, but I worked as a designer there, and I just thought, I'll do this for like three weeks. The contract it was initially three weeks, and if I enjoy it, I'll see how it goes, see if they like the way I'm working. So I started in 2008, which was uh, when the recession hit, so um, there was no work anywhere in the world really uh, for design. It was, you know, you'd look at the jobs board and there'd be two design jobs. So it was the worst time to come out, but at that point I already knew that I wanted to do work for myself rather than work in a company or have a day job. So uh, I started a blog, like a website, a music website, and that got some traction online that got started to get a few hits and we made connections with a lot of labels and band managers and artists and from there I started to push my work onto those guys basically I had a bit of a style like an illustration style so I really wanted to be an illustrator at first as time went on I got I got bored of that stuff but uh, yeah so for years I was or for, for like two years I had a like I worked in a shop and then I would create prints and t-shirts and merchandise for bands and I so I'd kind of have this thing where I'd like work in the day crap sh crap job and then in the evening I'd go to gigs sell this merchandise and make some money in contacts and that ended up with me going on tour with quite a lot of bands and selling merch on tour which is really cool and then it got to the point where I wanted to change my style. I felt I was doing collage work and it had kind of gone as far as it could go. So I took from my, I suppose, my style, what people seem to be most impressed with, which was colour, use of bold colour and vibrancy of shapes and type, and then started working more in that sort of style as an illustrator and built it up further and made contacts and advertising. When I got kind of bored with that stuff, I used my contacts and advertising to actually start working in that field. And over the years, I worked with some great creatives, uh, agencies like Saatchi and Saatchi and Ogilvy and places. I basically changed what I wanted to do. So I had a long freelance contract with Saatchi. I went in as an illustrator, wanting to sell my work as an illustrator, but I worked as a designer there. And I just thought, I'll do this for like three weeks. The contract it was initially three weeks, and if I enjoy it, I'll see how it goes, see if they like the way I'm working. And it just worked and I was there for like two years and I really learned a lot there about art direction and pure graphic design. Just a lot of stuff that I hadn't quite worked out. But then after working there and working with a few more or like advertising agencies, I realised that I had learned a lot about the whole of a campaign, working with clients, working with brands. So I, I started Middle Boop as a design studio. And that's where we are now. We, we work with small businesses and medium brands. We do a lot of uh, like rebranding and packaging and all sorts, yeah. It's a long journey. <laughs>10 years I've been running Middle Boot and I've never had a funny answer for this. People ask me all the time, so, um, you know, I should have thought of a better answer. Uh, I started Middle Boot with another person. So this is when we, we were running the music blog and we had like a, a, like a magazine, like a zine, and we called it Middle Boot. And it was basically an in-joke between the two of us at a friend's, like a music festival that my friends used to run. And it means nothing doesn't mean anything but we thought the name sounded funny and especially at the time we thought well we'd get to the top of Google uh, with this name this silly name and we thought people would ask the question what's this all about so we, it just stuck and then that guy left and I ran Middle Boop as, as yeah as myself so yeah <laughs>